<laughs> okay, so we're going to move on to a Newcastle preview very quickly for the UK media. Um, Jeff Peters, I think you had a question. Do you want to unmute yourself, Jeff? Um, yeah. Jose, uh, how long do you think before uh, the two new boys will be involved and, and do you think the squad needs further additions to compete in so many competitions with all these games coming thick and fast? Sergio will train with us tomorrow. Uh, the information I got today from the people that stayed behind is that he had a complete session today and tomorrow we join the group so maybe not match fit but but not injured anymore so ready to to train the team uh, Garrett will take a little bit more long so of course no chance for the for the weekend uh, the market is uh, is open we have a good squad can we can you have a better squad than we have now? Yes, we can. Um, is the club trying to to build that balanced squad that we all want? Yes, we are we are trying. Let's see if that's possible. Okay, Jonathan Ville, can you unmute yourself, please? Hi there, Jose. Um, it was ten days. 90 minutes um, since last December today. First of all, how do you think it played? And secondly, do you think they will be able to play again on, on Sunday? Played very well. Uh, of course, in a game where uh, I don't know, I don't have the date in my hands, but I can imagine that our percentage of ball possession was very, very high. And when um, our percentage is high, he feels obviously much more comfortable, but even without the ball, he had recovering, he had uh, duels, he had defensive transition. Was uh, a very very positive game from from Duncan. Really happy. Can he play a Sunday? I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, again, it's the first time he plays 90 minutes. We have to see how he reacts. We have to see how he recovers from it. But we have so many matches coming that if a player is not able to play the next match, we'll be able to play the next one. And that's we need that at the time because it comes the matches are coming very fast. Okay, we go to uh, Paul Gilmore. Paul, if you can unmute yourself and then we'll finish with Charlie and we'll share. Paul. Hi, Jose. Two players um, we're talking about a lot recently. Tangai and Dombele seem to be playing with a, a, a lot of confidence in recent matches. And then Deli Ali was back. Uh, just what, looking ahead to, to Newcastle, where do you feel both players are? And what did you make of, of... Did you get the response you wanted from Deli Ali tonight? The team didn't play very, very well. As a team. It's hard... To individualize, it's hard to say player A, B, or C when the reality is that uh, for about one hour he didn't play very well. Uh, for the past, for the last 30 minutes, 25, the team played well. Uh, we gave intensity, we accelerated the game, we used the wings, we had occupation in, in the box, we had Harry not losing the ball and dropping back and holding the ball and linking the play. The team improved very, very much in the last 30 minutes. Okay, finish up with Charlie. Charlie, last Jose, one, you've got these big three games coming up, Newcastle Sunday, your old club, Chelsea on Tuesday, and then the final Europa League qualifier on Thursday. Where would you rank those three games from kind of most to least important? I think the EFL ranked by themselves. We don't need to rank because they did for us. When when they want us to play 48 hours after we finish the Premier League game and 48 hours before we play our our presence in in the Europa League group phase, I think they ranked by themselves. So I don't need to rank. They did for us. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.